Welcome back everybody. I'm back on it. We've got a new van, well, a 64 plate. We 80 odd thousand miles on the clock. It's come in and it's a non-runner. It was actually tow iron and we're on it, so it's a non-runner. We took the air box off and our first thing I thought, it's hydraulic turbos, poured oil out and it's gone into engine. But, no it hasn't. Turbo's good, there's no oil inside the turbo fence, so it's looking promising. Could it run or will it not run? Let's see if it's got another heartbeat. So I'm going to investigate into it now. Start my well, high pressure pump, not getting fuel. And I'm just going to see some compressions and see what I get with it. So leave it with me. Enjoy. Well, so Marx has just done his little intro on this van. Really, the story behind it is it's coming for braking. As we, and it's just one of them where it's bloody hell, that's a good little van, that. It's a 64 Reg combo. Uh, and it's quite low mileage, so it's a shame, really. All your lights in the back. So this would be ideal, for, you know, for, for us to use just for parcels, because we always have like a little van. And it just seems, I mean, the bit of a dint there, but it gives it a bit of character, that's what I say. So inside's clean as well. And it's only two owners from new on the logbook. So this is a good van. If you look at the mileage, 89,000. I've actually just turned it over, Marcus. You're all right so can you hear it? But you just get that camera and show the engine bay when I'm turning it over. Yeah, go on. Seems to turn over too easy. Sounds to me low compression that. Are oh, they on a chain these? They are, aren't they? Yeah. yeah, they are. This is Marcus's. Kind of will it or won't it? So I've seen it before. Right, give us a bit of an update, Marcus, what you what you're Right, what we're doing is we're going to We're gonna take since we're turning over, too easy. Uh, it seems to spin over like there's no compression or a valves are bent. So what I'm going to do is I've took the thingies out and I checked the fuel pump for fuel pump pressure and with no fuel coming out the fuel pump. So that tells me we've either got a cam problem, which we could have, uh, or the belt's gone or whatever. So what I'm going to do is check the injectors out and see what's happening in the, in the engine and have a look at the injectors to see what's happened, seeing if there's any metal filings or anything that's bent. If I can see anything that's gone dirty, then it'll tell me what's happened with the engine, then I know where I go with the head. So at the moment now, we're just taking all the injector pipes off, all the four of them. So we'll get them done. Some people get confused because they don't put them in order, but it's one of them. So you put them like that, you know which ones come off which, and that's the helps you a bit when you put it back together. So you put them like that, and the tools, so you've got four ordered there. And then, we took all the injector wires off, so next, we'll get the ratchet and we'll uh, take the injectors out. They sort they come out all right. There we go. Two injectors. Now they're not sorted up. One's a look a bit cleaner than the other, but we'll go from there. We'll just put them down here in a minute. Have a look at the other two. One of them look more sorted up than the other. Yes, just to look a bit more like ones. But it sounds like someone put a tried easy start mark probably on it to try and get it to run. They're not too bad. So, mmm. We'll look at them next to, to these two. Yeah. See, if you look at them, look how clean the stems are. And the, it's the ends. There's little fine jet nozzles in them. Don't touch them with your fingers because you can damage them just by even doing that. But if you look at them, and then look at them, you can see that one is quite black, which is number three. 
if you know what I mean. Yeah. And that one's clear, but that looks as good as them. It's that one that seems to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, you can definitely see that. Now, what we're gonna do now, just to check say. things, I'm gonna get, uh, we're gonna get another piece of equipment, which is gonna do a bit of a test for us. What we're gonna do now is put a camera down. Camera. Yes, we're going to put a camera. As yeah. you can see, we've got a camera lens. So what we're going to do is see how. Bring that up a bit. See how our cylinders look. So you're stripping an engine down to find out, and there's nothing wrong. You put the camera down. Let's see. There's metal filings there, can you see that? There's metal there. On the bottom. Uh, right. There's some at gold. Can you see the metal filings in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah, like a valve or summit has gone. So I'll go to the next one. Was that in the third that the one that's sooty? That's no, this is this is this is the one that's sooty. Right? No, that one looks good. Nothing wrong with that. You see what I mean? That's that's no metal filings in, and and that's looking good. Not like this one, where even the valve doesn't look good. We'll put that piston down in a minute. We'll just have a look at this one. Clean the lens again, and this will tell us what the problem is. And that's looking good as well if you look. Right, now we'll look at number four. Right, what we're going to do now is turn the engine over a bit because the pistons are at the top on number number one and number four. That's good, that means fuel pump doing what it's supposed to do, it which is good. Well, what could you see so far? What's it looking like? It's looking like air and valves to me. No. Uh, I could be that or it cams done a, done a thing on it. Whatever the case is, I'm going to have to take the top off, I think, and have a look. But I think it's either the drive on the cams has gone or whatever. Summer has definitely bent the valves. So I'm going to have to take the head off and we'll go from there. Because of that valve, we had about half of a collet inside that piston. Yeah. So it has to come off now. So there's bits of metal in there as well, look. So what I want to do now is just get that cylinder down. So, yeah, I can see it going up and down, but what I'm going to do now is going to go to, see the bore now? Going down. So you switch the camera mode? Yeah, onto a different mode. So I can see the valves. Could score there though. You see that? Look at the grit there, now? look at all that grit there. What do you reckon Marcus? I'm just looking now and trying to sort out. There's a lot of grit there in that piston. Whoa, look at that. Mm. So I mean, you'd see your wolf with that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm back from that there, Marcus. Yeah. If any. Uh, I've had a look and all valves seem to be flat. And it shouldn't be, there should be valves down and up. So that's telling me, I think it smashed up cam carriers. Uh, because valves on these, they do it, but what it does, it smashes the cam carriers across the heads. 
So I think that's what it's done. So now I'm taking the cam carrier head off and have a look, see what we're getting involved. So I'm trying to get all the wiring off, which is, you can see, it's like you get a good trick and uh, go from there. So that's the next step. Right guys, <laughs> come back to an engine that won't start. And this is what it's done broke the rockers they're snapped into oh. and all the needle rollers and the and the thing is are all full to bits how's it done that because the chain has slipped oh. and it's revved that eye and boom and so that's what's happened it needs a new engine so but no what we can do i don't even have to take a lock in if we get a magnet and get all the bits out of in the inside and we put new rockers and lifters on, there's a chance it'll run. Do you reckon the valves have kept the bits No, in? well, they if are, it but what, the it chain, does, what it does, they're straight. So if I can check these valves, and none of them are lower than the others, because they're straight valves, usually they bend you when they've gone. But what it is, it's an interference and it smashes the rockers, but doesn't bend the valves. So with a bit of luck, we put a full set of hydraulic lifters, a full set of cam rockers, Time it up again, put a new timing chain on, and ba bum, she'll drive again. You're gonna have to take the engine out though, aren't you? I'm gonna have to take the game cover off, and I'm gonna have to cry, put a new timing chain. And Is it new... not as easy to put a new engine in? Possibly, well, it depends on how much it's gonna cost you. I think it'd be easier to put a new engine in now. You know what I mean? That'll be a nightmare. Not a nightmare to do, they are fixable, but if you can get another engine good, probably it'd save you on time. There's more labour on intensive of doing yeah, that oh, yeah. than what it is. And then you might in. not be right, it still might not be right. But there you go, that's the problem. That's why it had no compression. I mean, actually, you could just put a new head on there. Oh no, well, it's I'll like. I still have to do a timing chain. Oh. If you had to do an head, I'll have to do the timing chain. How would you do the head though? You'd have to take. Would you I won't do a new head. What I would do first is just get a full set of hydraulic lifters, a full set of rockers, right? The cam switch, because that would broke when I tried to get the cam off, and a timing chain kit. Put that on. You can always swap it onto another engine if you needed to, right? And then that will probably run. We don't even have to take the head gasket off. We don't have to take the head off. I can do it in situ. Do you ever do it that? We could do. It's worth the risk because whatever you do with another engine, you might as well put them bits in anyway before you build it because they're, they're common for it. Well, at least we've diagnosed it. Yeah. Do you like how I said we? <laughs> Enjoy, boys. Should we do an oil touch? Ooh, that's oily. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> my defense mechanism. <laughs> right, so we've diagnosed it, boys. We know what the problem is. So yeah. I reckon Marky Boy is going to get this thing running. <laughs> 